limited edition poster of the Hundreds of Beavers Great Lakes Road Show. Look at that. Look at that. Put Woo! that. <laughs> okay, I'm getting word from the can. What's the that, The third Ryan? place laughter. <laughs> now everyone's raising their Okay, now everyone just has to try and win the laugh contest by doing a big fake laugh and you win the beer. Who wants a beer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to run. All right. <laughs> This guy over here. Well, you alcoholics finish this. I'm going to uh, open the floor to questions about the creation this of Hundreds of Beavers. We have time. The Can Can has graciously given us time to answer three real questions about the creation of the film Hundreds of Beavers. Yes, young man. What's funny? He is a young man. Uh, how much of this was uh, filmed in like green screen? And how much was actually in the wilderness? Even the green screen stuff was done in the wilderness. We had a green tarp outside in the cold. Because if you're shooting something in daylight and you want it to look like daylight, the best way to achieve that is daylight. So even for stuff that should have been in a green screen studio on a Marvel movie, we just had a stupid green camping tarp uh, hung over like Jay's car. Yes. Yes, so I would say about 80% of this movie, I'll take your mic. About 80% of this movie was shot in the wilderness, but like Mike said, we shot a lot of it outside with green screen. So even when it was still sub-zero out, we, everyone would say, oh, we get to go into the warm and toasty green screen room pretty soon. No, we're still shooting outside, just on a green screen tarp. So it was a very, very retarded setup. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, two more questions. Yes. Uh, how many actual beaver costumes did you have, and how many got damaged? Uh, well, at first we weren't able to raise much money because we had uh, just a few backers in Milwaukee. We love our backers. They, uh, you know, got us started in the first winter when we shot the first act. We only had five beaver costumes at that point. 
purchased from some Chinese company that makes beavers. Oh, no, it was called Mascot USA, based in China. Based in China. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, five beaver costumes, but then from the, the quality of the material from the first winter, oh, what an impressive... Uh... Uh, clearly, it's so impressive. <laughs> uh, so, you know, by the second winter, we had real backers, and we were able to afford uh, six total beaver costumes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Karen Can is allowing us one final question about the creation of hundreds of beavers, the major motion picture. Yes. How did y'all do the sound effects? It was like, it was like the, 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 sound the sound effects are done by a real sound designer, and if it was a sound effect you heard once, that was a library effect. <laughs> Bob Barrado was the sound designer. And if it was a, a repeating custom sound, that was engineered by Bob Barrado, a very talented sound artist. Yes, there weren't a lot of professionals on this set, clearly. Uh, but one of the professionals was Bob Barrado. So everyone should hire Bob to just make sound effects for their legs. The Can Can has uh, allowed us one final question about the creation of- Wait, of Mike! Papers. Never mind that shit! There's some beavers in the theater! What? Oh, what? 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 Did you just see our very serious nature documentary? <laughs> what are you doing here? Hey! Did you just locking our waterways? Hey! Hey! Jack <laughs> down! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Concerned about um, like the jokes not working through, like when you made the storyboard. We knew the that we were so good and funny that it would all be fine. <laughs> <bad. laughs> I was never concerned. Every indie like, film is successful, and we knew we would follow suit. <laughs> all right. Who, oh, you know what? We're actually, we're out of questions, but the Can Can has graciously offered us. It's time, they're pushing back Mean Girls. Time for one final que real good question. Yes. Yeah, I think they detected a lot of video game influence. Is that true? And if so, do you have any favorite games? Yes, I would love to tell you all the video game influences and really dry up all the pussy. <laughs> about how Rylan and I made this movie all on our own with no help from stuntmen. Yes. Yes. What? How much of the script did you, like, did you write the full script to begin What's with? What's a script? <laughs> how much this did you ever was doodles. <laughs> Any good movie starts with doodles. And then you go into the woods with three drunk friends from high school and you, re and you point to the Director of photography, and you say, recreate my doodle on your camera. And then you go indoors and drink. And then at the end of the day, they bring the material in, and you say, that wasn't like my doodle. <laughs> All right, feels like things are wrapping up. Oh, wait, I'm getting a signal from the can-can. We do have time for one final question. You in the back. Where did you come up with the idea? 
idea for, for the movie? Bar talk. Hard to remember at this point. It was five years ago. I remember speaking with Rylan about most extreme elimination challenge and a little bit about uh, Zelda and Silent Film. Uh, and, uh, end of story. You know what? Unfortunately, the can can is allowing me time for one final series of 19 questions. Yes. How drunk are you? You started talking about it five years ago. When did production start? The production started five years ago. Correct. Did you enjoy your time in the sun? Mister, I have the answer to my own question. All right, we did it. Uh, look us up online. Uh, pretend you liked it if you didn't. Uh, it's a small movie with no marketing budget, so thank you for telling your friends. I'm sorry if we were mean to you during the Q&A, but it's putting hair in your chest, and you'll thank me later. We love you all, except hey. you! <laughs> For the merch tables!